Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. Today we're going to be working on the quest for Terraria. This is worth 75 rewards points and we need to gather 1,000 resources within the game. This is a monthly quest so it expires on December 6th and this game is available on the cloud so if you want to you could launch it and play it that way. This one will take you probably about 15 minutes or so to complete and we're actually going to start this up in the single player mode. I chose to create a new player and you can enter in whatever name you like. I just entered in a bunch of Y's. Change the difficulty to Journey and then choose Create. And then you'll need to choose Play on your new character and you can create a brand new world as well. So I did that at the bottom of the screen and I left the Evil on Random and then went down to the bottom to create the world. So kind of two parts to it. Create the player, create the world, and then once the world is built for you, then you need to go ahead and select play on that world. All right, so here we are in our brand new world with our new player and an achievement pretty much immediately unlocks for head in the clouds, for putting a feather in your cap. I think it's the hat that the character is wearing basically. So we got an achievement for that. So that should uh, finish out the weekly quest for unlocking an achievement in Game Pass for you. So that's nice. All right, and all we want to do is just switch to the iron pickaxe. So you'll hit your right bumper one time to switch to the iron pickaxe, and then start moving around with your left stick, and then holding down the right trigger. And whichever direction you're moving in, that is where your miner will start mining. And we basically want to mine a bunch of dirt blocks here. So try to avoid stone and trees and lead and all those other things and just kind of dig straight down and then just kind of go back and forth underneath the ground to try to collect a lot of dirt blocks. You can actually see your dirt block total at the upper left section of the screen. You can see it going up. So you can see I'm actually getting close to 100 right now. And the total will go up over time the more and more dirt blocks you collect. So you can just kind of keep an eye on that at the upper left corner. Like I said, it'll probably take you about 15 minutes to complete this. And if you do find that you're running into a lot of stone or water or anything like that, you can basically just kind of turn around and switch and go in the opposite direction. You can just kind of zigzag around under the ground. There is the weekly achievement in Game Pass quest unlocking right there for me. So I'm just going to speed up a bit and just quickly go through the rest of this so you can kind of see the completion of the quest and I'll give you a few tips along the way. So I had a lot of dirt in this area in just a straight line, so I was able to keep digging. If you want to see a little bit more light on the area that you're in, you can actually dig up to the surface. Unfortunately, that will allow some of the enemies to drop down with you, but it will create some light in your path. So just kind of make your own decision there of whether you'd rather keep digging in darkness or see some light on your path. So I dug a bunch of holes and the enemies weren't too difficult to defeat in this. Whenever I ran into an enemy, I was able to defeat them pretty quickly on this difficulty setting. So yeah, it's just pretty much a matter of time at this point and you're trying to get your thousand blocks. And like I said, it takes about 15 minutes to get through all of this. So I was running out of dirt in that area that I was in. I decided to move up and over to this other area, which looked like it had a lot of dirt in it. Dirt is just the quickest thing to mine. It's faster than any of the blocks or ores that you might find. So I was looking for a place with a lot of dirt to grab. So we'll go ahead and fast forward to the end to where I was getting to where it looked like I had a thousand resources collected. And I actually ended up falling down kind of into a pit down here where I couldn't really see where I was anymore. And there were cobwebs and different things that I was running into, but I decided to go ahead and switch to the Game Pass app and check since I hadn't gotten a notification yet. And sure enough, the quest was complete. So I went ahead and turned that in and grabbed the 75 rewards points for that. So we've got guides up already for all of the monthly and weekly quests for this first week of November. So stay tuned to the channel for more guides coming out next week when we have more weekly quests available. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.